All right, this is just a basic tutorial on I'm going to just make a quick button and uh, just to show you with just a few keyframes that it, it needs to uh, make its basic functionality work. All right, I'm going to break open up a blank uh, AS3 document. I'm just going to make a basic rectangle. Make it nice and large, doesn't really matter. Uh, right click, convert to symbol, button. And uh, just stick to the function out, the construct that I was speaking about before, just btn underscore uh, whatever name of the button. I'm just going to name it just normal box, just for the example. Um, um, so just double click on it, get inside the object. Um, you notice it will have an, an up, d over, down, and hit um, um, sections. And uh, the up is just as, so when the mouse is not over top of it, over, obviously when the mouse is over top of it, and down is when it's been clicked. And the hit is where you can make a shape that makes the zone where the button will be active. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna change up the colors a little bit. I like using, blue is a, is a good pl uh, color to uh, show just the different shades, so. I'll just use blue. Make a keyframe for over. Give it a little uh, brighter color. Okay. Down. And I'll make it go darker. And for hit. Anything within the hit keyframe will not be recognized. You'll never see this object. So just make, just make it a little larger than the current current object. Just, you and you will want to use that for if you have like a strange shaped uh, uh, button or really small buttons, stuff like that. All right, pretty much that's it. Open it up. Hit Control Enter to test. And as you can see, I come over top of it. I roll over top, and I also notice that because I made the hit prop the the hit keyframe um, uh, active, I can I can make the button be active just outside of it from wherever I from with the shape I made, and I click and hold, goes into its down state. So up, over, down. All right, that's pretty much the basics of it. Um, um in the next video I'm gonna add action script to it.